And it's Saturday morning. It's about 10.45 and my husband and I are going to clean the patio. We just got done cleaning the garage. I thought it was going to take a whole weekend to clean the garage. Not sure why I thought that. It actually, we got it all cleaned up in an hour. And I will put the link to that video in the description down below. So we're going to clean this patio um, now. My husband has his craft stuff in here. I don't know. It's a mess. So I bought a new shop vac. And you can see, look, this patio hasn't been cleaned in whew, a couple months. I'm thinking like at least two months. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's less. But just get really uh, dirty fast. There's a lot of droppings from all the plants. So all these plants need to be trimmed and cleaned up of all the dead stuff. Um, yeah, see all the dead stuff, um, there, and I might probably going to wash the windows, um, it's really hot, but we are shaded, it's pretty hot outside, but, um, I think I'll be alright, so, you know, I'm going to get started, I just bought this, um, shop back from home. Depot. I was using my vacuum cleaner hose. I have one of those central vac systems. I was using that with the uh, hose attachment on it. Yeah, that wasn't working. Plus, the hose didn't reach everywhere. So I finally broke down and bought this shop vac. So I'm gonna start with vacuuming first. I think. Oh, I guess we maybe should trim all the plants first because that's gonna make a mess. So I'm almost done trimming all the um, plants. Look at this mess on the floor. It's a lot of crap. So, I'm going to finish trimming and sweep that up. And I think we need to transplant a couple of plants. So, uh, we cleaned up all the plantings. And my husband um, transferred them to some pots. <laughs> he took apart um, some of the plants and separated them because they have these uh bromeliads i think they're called they have like little babies that spawn off of them and they were crowding up the pot so he transferred all these so he was doing all that while i was cleaning the patio kind of made a mess there and it needs to be cleaned up yeah that needs to be cleaned up too um so i'm using the shop back but i'm not happy i'm having to use just this little end right here because when i opened up this box the, um, this wand was not in there. There was no instructions or nothing. Not that it was that hard to figure out. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't want to go all the way back to the store and get another one. So I'm just using this. And then I'm going to go buy a new one. Take this, the extension wand, this thing, out of there. And take the new one back to the store and say it was missing. Same thing. So, yeah. So I'm going to finish vacuuming. I went ahead and set my husband inside to take a break because there's nothing he could do while I'm doing that. And after I vacuum, I'm going to hose down it, uh, water all the plants and hose yeah. down the patio. I took a little break. It had a little snack and some water. It's really hot out here. And um, yeah, I finished vacuuming. So now I'm going to um, start hosing down. I guess I need to water the plants first and then hose down the patio. I'm going to use my vinegar and dawn solution. I haven't decided if I want to um, get, I have a pressure washer. I might get that out because it's really dirty in some spots. So I haven't decided yet. We'll see how clean that comes if I want to drag that thing out. So I'm going to get to it and cool off at the same time. <laughs> Hose myself down with the hose. Okay. It's raining. So, um, I put everything back, all the plants are back and stuff, so, um, I just need to put things, a few more things back where they belong, I need to clean these chairs, the cats like to sit in these chairs, and sometimes I forget to lay a blanket down, so I gotta limp brush them all, and there's still a little bit of dirt here and there, so after it dries, I might need to run the wet back again, I decided not to, um, pressure washer. <laughs> I just feel like getting out the pressure washer. So it is what it is. There are some spots that are kind of dirty. 
but oh well. I'll live with it. Maybe next time I clean the patio. And this is a major cleanup. This is not what I do weekly. You know, this is, I do a major cleaning, you know, maybe twice a year. So I need to clean it. Take this inside and clean it. This is the cat water bowl. And um, I need to put the table back together. And uh, I have some visitors. Sandhill cranes. There's one. There's two. There's one. 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 one. There's 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 one. Because it does need to be vacuum every week. I don't always do it though. So here's some plantings here. And this is a little fountain that uh, my husband got for his birthday last year. He calls it the Hong Kong Fui Fountain. It's a little dog. If you're my age, you'll know what I'm talking about, Hong Kong Fui. Anyway, so that's nice. And it lights up at night. And I put a little group of plantings here. Because uh, I had the coffee table over here, so I moved the coffee table over there, and I feel like it needs something on it, but actually the cats like to lay on top of that, so I'm just going to leave it open, and I have a little group of plantings here, and my fern, so that's what that little seating area looks like over there, and I have my plants here. And my husband, these are the plants that he separated. Um, this one big one had like a bunch of little babies. Isn't that pretty? Um, I don't know what that's called though. And so there's, he put them in pots here. So we're going to have a whole bunch. And there's more plants there. And I cleaned up the table. And I don't typically decorate this patio for uh, fall. I mean, this is where... My family, where we have um, Thanksgiving dinner, um, there's like 30 of us, so I'll put out the Thanksgiving decorations then, and the whole patio is transformed, but I don't think I'm having Thanksgiving this year. I think my sister is doing it. So this is a, um, I think it's actually a plant stand, but I'm using it to put towels in. You know, we don't have a pool. I do have a little kiddie pool, so, and a, a slip and slide so the kids um, can have towels when they come over. And there's the cord for the fountain, and I just don't know what to do with it right now. So I wait till I get a smaller one. And typically, I use this top part to put like drinks on and um, cups and silverware on for when we have like picnics out here. So it's a nice like little serving thing to use. And there's some more plants here. And more plants. My husband likes all these plants. And then this is the more plants here. And I cleaned these up and turned that around. And this is, um, I don't know what you call it. Um, a little bench seat thing. This, um, keep our gardening stuff in here. Uh, we got this from Ikea. A couple months ago, like six months ago or so. And, uh, yeah guys, so I'm liking how that looks and it's like uh, almost 5 o'clock. So I started at like almost 11, so that's 6 hours now. No, it didn't take me 6 hours to do it, but I would say it take about 4. Because we did, me and hubby went and ran some errands for a little bit and I stopped earlier and had some lunch. Yeah, a lot of work to redo this patio because, you know, I had to trim all of the dead stuff off of all these plants which hadn't been done in a couple months so and sweep and mop mopping is I mean washing down the patio is ridiculous because I don't know if you can see this but um, the builders did not do this correctly again this is we bought an existing home three years ago we've been living here three years so they did not build this right so the water goes to the window and it needs to slope and go out the door and it it doesn't so it's really hard to spray it down and get all the water out to go out the door 
see there's some more water here by this door yeah not liking that but there's not much we could do about that now unless we tore out the whole patio and not that's not gonna happen so we'll just deal with it so yeah I'm exhausted I'm gonna go um, take a shower I do still need to clean up outside I guess I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and this whole area needs to be cleaned up but that's for another day yeah so I'm just gonna put those few things in the garage and go take a shower so I decided to sit here and uh, relax for a few minutes before I go take a shower and enjoy my patio and um, say that um, typically we don't use the patio during the summer it is just way too hot out here even with the fans going which by the way these fans suck they do not circulate enough air so we have that on our list to do we hopefully will be getting some new fans soon and uh, yeah so it's way too hot out here again I live in Florida like south ish Florida um, more central Florida I guess but on the East Coast, um, like near the Kennedy Space Center, south of the Kennedy Space Center. Anyway, so um, way too hot to be out here, even in the evening um, in the summertime. So it is um, going to start cooling off soon, although today it was like 96 degrees when me and my husband were running errands. But I had a huge burst of energy. I don't, I don't know. I don't want people to think that. I do this all the time because I don't because actually for three weeks I was super tired and nothing got done around the house barely just the grocery shopping cooking dinner and the laundry and I have a thyroid condition actually um, I don't have thyroid I had it taken out um, three years ago and to be living without a thyroid is difficult even with medication it's just really difficult. Your thyroid controls a lot of things. So, you know, what, you, I never know when I'm going to have energy. So, um, you know, like I said, three weeks ago I had, or for three weeks I had no energy. So all of a sudden I have all this energy. I did up my B12 and my vitamin D, so maybe that has something to do with it. And I just don't know when I'm going to have energy again. So I am taking advantage of it and I'm going with it. We cleaned the garage this morning. And we cleaned the patio this afternoon. I told my husband for my birthday that uh, I didn't want a present. I just wanted some honeydews and um, he helped me clean. And I appreciate that. I really like it. I don't really need anything anyway. So <sighs> I'm just going to relax here for a few minutes and uh, go take a shower and um, make some dinner. Enjoy your day, everybody. <laughs>